All Worcester combination and system boilers require their system pressure to be topped up with mains cold water at some stage throughout the life cycle of the boiler. This can be indicated by either your heating system not heating up efficiently or the pressure gauge on the front of the boiler indicating that the needle is in the red as opposed to the green area. There are two methods of topping up your system dependent on the type of boiler that you own and also which option your installer may have chosen for you. The first is the internal filling key. The second is the external filling hose. This particular appliance has an internal filling loop in stores. But before I begin to repressurize the system, what I'm first of all going to do is turn the power off to the boiler. Once we've got power switched off to the boiler, I'm then going to remove the tray where I can find my white filling key. I'm then going to remove the key. Now, I need to insert the key up into this black plastic manifold, okay? This filling manifold is actually linked from your cold mains into the boiler through to your central heating return. And what I want to do is fit the key up inside of this hole with one of the white arrows on the shaft of the key pointing at the open padlock position. There's actually two symbols there, one of an open padlock and one of a closed padlock. So if I insert that key up into the black plastic manifold with the arrow in line with the open padlock position, okay, then I'm going to turn the key to the closed padlock position. I'm going to make sure it's in there. It doesn't need to go any further. That's fine, okay. Now what I'm going to do is begin to turn this this white plastic nut anti-clockwise and I should begin to hear water actually filling into the heating system. Once I've done that, what I then need to concentrate on of course is the pressure gauge, okay? So I'm then going to look at my pressure gauge. I can see that that's filling up quite nicely now and it's up in the green to the required 1.5. So what I'm now going to do is begin to tighten this plastic spindle knob back up until I can actually hear the water stop, okay? What I'm then going to do is turn the key back to the open padlock position and I'm going to remove the key. Now before I remove the key, there's a chance there's going to be a little bit of water that comes out. That's fine, okay? So if you've got a bit of paper or a bit of rag to, to, uh, to mop that up, that's fine. If you do find, however, that the water does continue to come out, then do make sure that this spindle knob has been tightened up properly. Okay, so I'm now going to remove the key. And as you can see, a few drips of water. Okay, so I've now repressurized the boiler and I'm, I'm happy that the black needle is up in the green to the required 1.5. Now remember, don't panic. If you do find that the needle has gone up to, let's say, two bar in the red, don't worry about it, okay? The easiest thing to do is to go around your radiators and bleed a little bit of air. What you then might find you have to do, of course, is come back to the boiler and repeat the process. Now, if you do find you need some detailed instructions on this, please do visit our website and they are downloadable and you can print them out and use them.